Welcome back to Genuine Corner, guys. This is the 16th video in the JavaFX library software development series. And in this video, I will show you how to implement the renew option. In the last video, we have implemented the submission option, and now we have to implement the renew operation. So, by the renew operation means we increment the renew count and update the issue date and time to the current renew date and time so that's what we are going to do so in the fxml i am going to select the renew option and i want to set an on action method so that will be road load renew method or renew renew operation so that's it uh, i'm coming back to the code main.fxml and make controller so uh, th that's what we have to do we have to up the issue table so I'm going to write a query before that I want to ask a confirmation or I want to show a confirmation message in order to make sure that the uh, administrative for the uh, renew operation so uh, confirm renew operation renew operation are you sure want to renew the book renew the book so that's it and if the response was okay then we will proceed to the renew operation so i'm going to write the query so a uh, query not query it's an action so string ac equals update issue then set issue daytime first we have to get the column name of the issue table where the issue date and time is stored so that is issue time so set issue time equals then we have to store the current timestamp uh, the timestamp at which the renew operation is being happen uh, is happening so uh, issue time equals current timestamp then we have to go for where book id equals then we have to give the book id so we will give the book id right here so uh, the book id can be taken from this book id section so enter book id before that we have to make sure that a book is ready for submission or simply ready for the operation we have defined a boolean variable is ready for submission method and that that one can be used for in this renew case also so i'm copying that and here i'm please select a book to renew then if it is ready for submission or ready for this operation only then we are taking the data so a uh, string s equals update issue then set issue time equals current timestamp where book id equals then we will take the book id and the book id can be taken from the book id variable which is a jfx text field then dot get text so that's the action and i'm going to display the action so that's it then if handle database handler dot execute action and the action is ac was a success then we will show that the operation was success so i'm going to place it here then success book has been renewed that's fine then i'm going for the else case i mean if the operation was failed then we have to notify the user about the failure so submission has been or renew has been failed then we have one more else case i mean if the user make a cancel option on the confirmation then we have to give a notification about that too so else submission operation no it's not submission operation we have to go for renew operation so renew operation cancel so that's it guys we have completed the renew operation also that was pretty simple right and let's hope there is no problem i'm going to run the program uh, coming to the renew submission section then the issued book is b100 and the uh, issue date and time is 14th november 1244 gmt it is the gmt time and renew are you sure want to renew the book yes ha book has been renewed now if i press again here the book id the time has been changed now we have to in increment the renew count also so i'm coming back here then uh, we have set the issue time and 
we have to place a comma here and renew count so I have to keep the variable uh, the column name again so renew count renew count equals renew count plus one it is very similar to the uh, C or C++ syntax in MySQL so now the renew count will be incremented by one and the issue time will be updated just a moment and we are loaded coming back to B100 so uh, it is 1250 to 23 going for renew operation okay that's done book has been renewed and entering on you can see that the renew count has been incremented and the time has been updated again renewing the same book okay so that's it guys we have successfully implemented the renew operation also so as always thank you for watching this video i mean i think this is the official end of the basic features in our java fx library software and in the upcoming video we will improve the software and thanks for the support and this is genuine core signing off